So in 2016, numerically, a couple professors uh, uh, from Caltech formed the Planet Nine hypothesis by looking at the evidence suggested by these extreme trans-Neptunian objects, the only way that made sense was if there was a Planet Nine acting like Neptune and Pluto, balancing the orbits of all of these guys in usually in some sort of resonant configuration or uh, or something similar. There were points of stability where these objects would be stable in their current orbits for billions of years rather than wandering around all over the place. Now, when they were doing their calculations, they said, oh, this is all good, that explains these, but we keep getting some other objects that seem to be going off at right angles. And that's when they had their eureka moment because they discovered other objects going off at sort of right angles and this was something that they didn't know or tied together. They fall, first saw it in their calculations. And when they did, they said, ah, I really am beginning to believe that this Planet Nine might be possible. So there was even other evidence reported. It turns out there's a mystery of the sun. Instead of the plane of all the planets going around, being in the same plane as the sun, which itself revolves, you know, the sunspots move around, the revolution of the sunspots is at like a six degree angle. And that's sort of a mystery with people studying the sun. And it turns out that their numbers for a planet nine kind of fit the hypothesis over the billion of years of our solar system Planet Nine was kind of shifting up slowly the plane of the rest of the planets, and numerically it kind of worked out that you could explain that six-degree tilt from a Planet Nine. So the evidence is, is mounting. Since that original publication, there have been even more extreme trans-Neptunian objects, the majority of which are also located here, in their calculations, they also found other points of stability, like inside the orbit of Planet Nine, the green, the green line. And indeed, there are some trans-Neptunian objects in that stable configuration as well. So everything except the green Planet Nine uh, has been discovered so far. They now have a best fit, taking all that data and running their simulations with the stable orbits. The mass of planet nine should be five times the mass of the Earth, between five and ten times the mass. It would be on an orbit that is inclined a little bit, just like it's anti-aligned with those inclined extreme trans-Neptunian objects. It goes way out there, almost 500 times the distance between the sun to the Earth, or ten times farther out than the planet Pluto. And it would be on a mildly uh, uh, elliptical kind of orbit. It turns out that this new data is now incompatible with explaining the tilt of the sun. So that's progress in science. You know, we, we there are still mysteries. I almost had you all convinced that Planet Nine existed because of that other piece of evidence. But as scientists, that's one of the things to convey is that we are open-minded to, to these refinements as we collect more, more data.